No matter how you feel about it, this planet is covered in a web-like network of caves that extend deeper than you imagine. In every area we build above ground, nature has already carved out a home underneath. And unlike up here, most of them don't have couches and TVs. Many types of scary cave systems range from lonely caverns that are billions of years old to 19th century mines. They have accumulated a truly twisted collection of abandoned and concealed objects throughout the years, including individuals left to gather dust in the deafening silence and darkness. Welcome back everyone! In this video we will be sharing mind-blowing items discovered in caves. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel! The Bone Theater One of the world's biggest ossuaries is the notoriously huge Paris Catacombs. Its tunnels contain more than 6 million skeletons, but the gloom doesn't stop there. The location has developed into an eerie study destination and a criminal activity hub. French police found one such crime in 2004, but there is no way they could have predicted it. The catacombs frequently have trespassers, but most snap pictures before leaving. Police learned in 2004 that an unknown number of trespassers had made one of the catacombs into their home after spending so much time there. And without a restaurant and a theater, what home would be complete? The cops reportedly discovered an underground amphitheater with terraces cut into the rock and chairs, and an informal cafe and bar, according to The Guardian. Behind the bar was a pressure cooker for preparing couscous, tables, seats, and bottles of whiskey and other alcoholic beverages. Hobbits Sets of human remains that defied explanation were discovered in the Liangbua Cave in Flores, Indonesia in 2003 by a group of archaeologists. Even though the adults in the bones were unmistakably near ancestors of ourselves, Homo sapiens, they were only about three and a half feet tall. The bones certainly belonged to adults. Naturally, they quickly acquired the moniker Hobbits. The vanished people were smaller than any previously discovered species, even a full foot smaller than the tiniest of the African pygmies, which startled the scientific community. Naturally, many anthropologists believed the skeletons were short due to an illness. The hobbits, scientifically known as Homo floresiensis, were in contrast generally typical, healthy, upright, and intellectual humans, according to recent investigations. They were hobbit-sized. Confusing Giant Bones While talking about ancient bones, another cave received media attention for the opposite purpose. Unimaginably large bones were found in abundance in the Panchian Dadong Cave. In one of the Panchian Dadong tunnels in southern China, archaeologists discovered bones from more than 40 extinct mammal species, most of which were large herbivores and pack animals. The problem was that only a steep rock wall led to the cave entrance, which was 1,600 feet above sea level. Ancient rhinos, stegodons that resembled elephants, and even Gigantopithecus, an animal that resembled Bigfoot, were among many hundreds of bones found. Many exhibited traces of human manipulation, such as burning and chopping, indicating that prehistoric humans made the stockpile. However, the mystery of how our ancestors brought the creatures up there in the first place still stands. The Ghost of a Witch The Crone of the Catskills story started as a casual Reddit post from a handful of unidentified hikers, but it eventually developed into an enduring modern mystery. The frightening effigy was discovered by hikers in 2016 while exploring tunnels in New York's Catskill Mountains area. A wooden statue of a woman with a rope around her neck and nails hammered into her eyes was in its nook. The second hiker took the cursed object home, despite one of them objecting to taking it. The statue keeps moving from its location. His friend can't sleep at night because banging keeps waking him up, according to the original poster. He received a knock on the door, but when he opened it, no one was there. He is now really confused. A Crystallized Human Sacrifice A significant archaeological site in Belize called Aktun Tunichil Muknal has produced many Mayan items. Its moniker, the Cave of the Crystal Sepulchre, hints at the most famous discovery ever made within its walls. It was obvious that the cave had been used for ritual sacrifice. Skeletons killed by humans sat among decorations, ritual artifacts, and even on their altars. 
They range in age from 1 to about 40, and some have shaped skulls. The big prize, however, is the Crystal Maiden, the entirely calcified remains of a 17-year-old boy. He appears to be the most horrifying snow sculpture in the world. His vertebrae are broken, and it is assumed that he died slowly and brutally, his anguish being preserved forever. Calcium crystals have completely coated his bones. A new Dead Sea Scroll and a Time Traveler We have yet to find all of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Thus, they were only partially discovered. Instead, they are made up of thousands of scroll pieces still being found. Since the 1940s, archaeologists have found fragments, and in 2021, more were found in Israel's Cave of Horror. When the bodies of 40 Jews were found there in the 1960s, the cave received its moniker. Researchers concluded that Roman soldiers killed them in the second century. When they returned to the cave in 2021, they discovered dozens of fresh Dead Sea Scroll fragments mysteriously hidden next to a young girl's mummified remains from 6,000 years ago. Conspiracy Rocks Caves can be a great place for strange geology to evolve because they are shielded from much of the Earth's weather and life, even if it takes millions or billions of years. Odd rocks and crystals are always discovered. As a result, some of these make people wonder, and some give believers in ancient aliens more ammunition. The Wolf's Egg Iron, often referred to as the Salzburg Cube, was discovered in a mine in the 1800s as one illustration. People thought it was a meteorite, and many thought that machines had worked on it before it landed on Earth because of its peculiar shape. Another example is the numerous Klerksdorp spheres, which, while 3 billion years old, similarly appear to have been sliced precisely. In truth, both are byproducts of peculiar geology. Skull Cups the earliest complete human skeleton ever discovered in Great Britain, the Cheddar Man, was discovered in Gow's Cave, a vast cave system in Somerset, England. Darker relics can also be found in the caverns, including kid skulls used to make drinking vessels. The discovery of cut marks on numerous human bones suggests cannibalism, which is a shockingly frequent finding with bones that old. People are most shocked by the skull mugs, though. Five to seven skull fragments polished into drinking cups have been discovered. One of the victims was as young as three when they passed away. A Rainforest Consider Son Dung Underground in Vietnam, which houses the largest cave chamber in the world as a brief respite from the darker items discovered in caverns. The cave is so large that a rainforest may be found inside the rock walls. The term Garden of Eden was given to the rainforest after Eden itself, and it is simple to understand why. The garden is a true rainforest, not just a collection of cave moss. Within the cave, trees reach heights of more than 100 feet. Birds and monkeys thrive among the trees, making up a whole ecosystem. The discovery of the garden was unexpected, but in the greatest way possible. A 100-year-old axe Authorities arrested Joseph Henry Lovelace in 1916 under the belief that he had used an axe to murder his wife, Agnes. Lovelace broke out of jail using a little saw blade he had stashed in his shoe, and he was never seen again. Not alive, at least. The rediscovery of Lovelace was rough and drawn out. A family in Buffalo Cave, Idaho in 1979 came across an unidentifiable torso that had been beheaded and left to rot in a burlap bag. A similar hand was discovered 12 years later in 1991, which sparked a hunt that turned up both the missing legs and one arm. The body was analyzed for DNA 18 years later, and the results indicated that it might belong to the long-lost Loveless. Then Loveless's grandson, who is now 87 years old, contributed DNA to help explain the findings. That is all for this video. We will be back soon with another informative video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time!